Problem number 14, uh, section 1.5.1, asks us to find the number C that the mean value theorem guarantees exists. If you recall, the mean value theorem says that um, if we're given a function that is differentiable, say, f, di f differentiable on some open interval, say, a, b, and continuous on on the close, uh, same interval but closed, then there exists a number c such that so there exists a c such that now f prime of c is equal to the average rate of change on this interval. Now the average rate of change on our interval here is going to be 0, 15. So we're instead of looking at f of 15 minus f of 0 over 15. Now our function f is f of x equals square root of x plus 1. So simplify this, we end up with square root of 15 plus 1 or 16 minus the square root of 0 plus 1, or the square root of 1, over 15. Now this is equal to, well, square root of 16 is just 4, minus 1 over 15, which is 3 fifteenths, or 1 fifth. Now, we need to find the number c such that um, f prime of c is equal to 1 fifth. Well, first step then is to just calculate the derivative of f. So you know that f of x is equal to the square root of x plus 1, or we can rewrite this as x plus 1 to the 1 half. So f prime of x is then equal to 1 half times x plus 1. And we need to bring down the power by 1, so this becomes minus 1 half. Now we rewrite this as 1 over 2 times square root of x plus 1. Now the question is, what's the value of x, which we'll call c, such that this thing is equal to 1 fifth. So we know that f prime of c is equal to 1 fifth. But on the other hand, we also know that it's going to be equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of x plus 1. So now we just solve and this should be c here, since we're putting in c into the function f prime of c, or f prime of x. And now we just solve for c. So this gives us that square root of c plus 1 by multiplying on both sides by square root of c plus 1 is equal to 5 over 2. Now if we square both sides, we have c plus 1 is equal to 25 over 4, which then will give us our answer of c equals 25 over 4 minus 1, or 25 over 4 minus 4 fourths, which is 21 over 4. So in this case, the instantaneous rate of change at the point C, which is 21 over 4, is equal to the average rate of change over the entire interval, over the entire interval from 0 to, 1, 0 to 15.